to celebrate reaching a thousand subscribers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. To celebrate reaching one, two, three, four thousand subscribers, I will make an ecosphere inside another ecosphere. I'll be using this pretty pickle jar and a smaller jar that fits right inside. First, I'll take some water and some dirt. And then I'll start by giving the other ecosphere some substrate. Now that it has a nice thick layer of dirt, it's time to add plants. I took these from my aquarium and they have proven to work great in ecospheres. Now it's time to work on the next ingredient of the ecosphere, the inner ecosphere. I'll start again by adding some substrate. It doesn't need that much. And adding water I collected earlier. Now it's time to add a plant to the inner ecosphere. I've never used this plant in an ecosphere before, so that will be a little experiment on its own. So now this eco wrong lid. So now this ecosphere is finished. We can close the right lid and seal it off. It's done. So now I can add the inner ecosphere to the outer ecosphere, but I'll have to drop it. Now I think that that looks pretty nice. The only thing left to do now is to fill it up. I thought it would be cool to add some dirt on top of the inner ecosphere to plant some plants in it, but that didn't work. So that meant this ecosphere inside another ecosphere was finally finished and it was time to close the closed ecosystem. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the water to clear up. After a day the water started to get pretty clear and you can clearly see that both inner and outer ecosphere are full of life. Including loads of crustaceans and of course nematodes, aka boogie worms. This actually turned out way nicer than I expected it to. The dirt on top of the inner ecosphere looks pretty nice, even without plants. The inner jar is getting a bit warped by the water and round shape of the outer jar. So this is how big it actually is. Here you can see the inner ecosphere and the plant inside the inner ecosphere even better. If you think about it, an ecosphere or closed ecosystem is separated from the ecosystem of the earth. So whatever lives inside of an ecosphere is not part anymore of the ecosystem of the earth. In this case it goes even deeper, as the life in the inner ecosphere is not part of the ecosystem from the outer ecosphere. What lives in these ecospheres you wonder? Loads of daphnia and copepod, and a lot of boogie worms. Nematodes, also known as threadworms. And I have also spotted a leech. <laughs> For 
for some reason most of the Daphnia are really tiny, but this is a big female with lots of eggs. Here you can see it even better in slow-mo. There's also stunting ostracods and clam shrimp which are a lot of fun to watch. They are actually a bigger species of ostracod. Look at him go. I will leave it at this for now. It's pretty hard to film inside these ecospheres. But I must say that this project was a lot more fun than I imagined. Just one more thing. Some time ago I asked you to pick a name for the Life in Jar subscribers. And this seems the perfect opportunity to finally decide. Some of the most popular suggestions were Jar Squad, LJ Family, Jarhead Clan, and my personal favorite, the Jarmy. You can vote in the poll, and I'm curious to see which name gets picked. I want to thank every single one of you who has subscribed and who have made Life in Jars as big as it is now. Thank you, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.